welcome all of you today we are going to discuss about most commonly used controls of windows form application these are text box button and label in this topic we will cover different methods properties and event for this control we will also see one example to demonstrate the functionality of text box button and label so we will start our code with our visual studio okay so in this project we have already one form now i add one more form for that just right click on your project and select add option and in the add we have to select this windows form if you select this windows form it will show you the templates this form here i write my name for the form the default name is form 1 form 2 form 3 and so on but uh, i suggest you that always specify some meaningful name for your form so we can understand the functionality of that form with the name also so my form name is frm text box demo and click on this add button once you click on this add button you will get one more form in our solution explorer this is our new form so in this form we will see the functionality of our text box button and label so to create your text box first we have to drag our text box from this toolbox window just open toolbox window and uh, move towards the text box this is our text box drag this from the toolbox and drop it on your form okay so in this way we can create our user defined text box text box is used to accept input from user this input is in the format of text it means if you want some text data from your user then we can accept that text data via our text box now we will see different properties for this text box so for that i will click on this properties option i will open a properties option the first property for the text box is name property as we know that every control have this name property the purpose of name property is we can identify this control in program or in code window with the help of text box one value it means whatever we have, we have passed to the name property that name is used to identify your object in our code window so i change with the, so i change this with one value that is txt number so i change this value with txt number it means we can identify this text box in our code window with the name txt num next property is back color property back color property is used to specify background color for your text box to specify your background color we have to click on this button and select this custom option now this is our color box you can select any color whatever you want if i select this color look at this this color will be applied to the background of this text box if you want to reset this color you can say white background this is our default color okay the next property is font property font property is used to specify different fonts for your text box value it means we can specify different font style different font size different fonts different font effect for your text box with the help of this property to apply font we have to click on these dots once you click on this dot it will show you one font dialog box look at this this is our font dialog box in this font dialog box you can select any font whatever you want any font style and any font size as per your requirement so i change this with the font so i change this with the font that is cambria and then regular and font size with 22 and click on this okay button look at this now your text box is 
little bit increased according to the size of quant okay so now we can run our project but one problem is here if you going to run your form then we have two forms in our solution explorer window so the default form which is the launcher form is form 1 now we have to run our second form so for that we have to do some changes in program.cs file open your program.cs file and whatever the name you write here that form will be executed first so we have to execute our new form so i change this with your new name that is frm text box demo so we'll get the output of our second form run your project and see the changes look at this this is our text box with new font the next property is four color property with the help of four color property we can specify text color for your text box control for that we have to select once again this option and select this custom you can select any color whatever you want i select this red color run your project and see the changes look at this now our text color is red okay next 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 property is max length property max length property indicates number of characters to be presented inside your text box the default value is 32767 if you say the max length property value as 10 then your it means your text box will accept only 10 characters within it now the next property is multi line property multi line property is a boolean property this property uh, default value is false it means your text box is always single line text box but if you want to convert your single line text box into multi line text box for that we have to change this value from false to true now see the changes look at this we will get these dots so we can increase the size of or we can increase the height of our text box also okay next property is password cat property this property is helpful to accept password from the user it means if you uh, don't specify any value for this password cat property then your password is now visible to everyone so if you want to convert your text into some asterisk mark for that we have to specify the password cat property like asterisk once we specify this value as asterisk or star then look at the changes now i will run my project you are inserted in this text box these all contents are connoted into this asterisk mark the next property is read only property read only is also boolean property its default value is false if you say this read only property as true then you are not able to do any changes inside your text box now your text box will become read only text box okay for that we have to say it like this true if you set this property value as true and run your project see if you are going to write something inside this text box then there will be no any possibility to do some changes or type new things inside your text box okay next property is scroll bars property this is our scroll bars property scroll bar uh, scroll bars property contain three values these values are horizontal vertical and both if you say it, this horizontal value for this scroll bar property then we will get horizontal scroll bar for our text box to navigate from left to right if you say this property value as vertical then you will get a uh, vertical scroll bar so we can navigate from top to bottom and if you say this property value as both then it means this text box contain uh, both scroll bars like horizontal as well as vertical next property is text align property text align property is used to set alignment for your text inside your text box 
the default value is left it means uh, every text box will print its value to the left side but if you want to fit that value inside right or middle then we have to change this value of text line property from left to right or left to center you can select any option whatever you want if i select this right and run my project look at this in this way we can specify this position for this text box next property is visible property visible property indicates whether the control is going to be visible or not it means if you set this property value as false then you can hide your control while execution of your project if i set this property value as false see the changes even our project is running but on the form there is no any control to show maximum properties for text box button and label are same so we will move towards our example okay so we will create one example based on text box label and button control in in this example we will calculate the square of given number which is present in our text box okay for that i design my interface there is one label is required use our text box after that use one more label or you can copy this to once again okay so i increase the width of these two text boxes it is enough change the property of first label with the text that is enter number enter number now change the property of second level with the new value new text value that is square is okay so this is level now we will change the name of first text box go to your property window move towards the name property and write txt now means txt number and select second text box and write txt sqr it means text box for square okay so the names are meaningful one more control is required that is nothing but our button for that i design this button okay now change the label of this button with our new text value that is get square get square okay so get square okay now in this example i will adjust this button in front of this so we will get our square in the bottom okay okay so in this example i will adjust this button in in front of our first text box so we will get our result in the second text box okay this is fine and then we also have to set the property name property for our button that is nothing but btn square so i change this button name with btn square okay now it is fine so we have to write this all code inside our button click event for that we just have to double click on this button once you double click on this button it will generate the button click event of our square button now i increase text size code to calculate square so i write calculate square okay 
we require one variable to store the value of first xbox for that i create one variable that is integer num equals to t x t num dot text if i write like this one problem is there the problem is the written type of every text box is string and in the left side we have integer variable so in this example we have to convert the string text box value into integer format for that i write my code like this convert dot to int 32 in the bracket we have to cover this text box thing okay it means the value of your text box is now converted into one integer variable that is nothing but our num variable okay so i create one more variable to store result integer square equals to num into num it means we are multiplying the value of text box now we have to display our result in our second text box for that i write my code like this t x t square dot text equals to our result is stored in a square variable so that i write my square variable here but if i write this only then uh, we will get one more error that is nothing but in the left side we have string and in the right side we have integer so externally we have to convert that square value into the string format to present inside our text box for that i write code like this dot to string method okay so it will display that integer value in a string format to the text box okay so this code is now perfect uh, okay just run your project and see the result okay form is ready first of all we have to write one number in your first text box if i write five here and click on this get square button once we click on this get square button we will get the square of five in a second text box look at this yes it is working fine okay so in this way we can handle the button click event we can work with our text box and label cut okay so this is what our today's lecture thank you all of you for watching this video have a nice day